I call upon the representative of Algeria. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Thank you, President. I would have liked to, I would, to not have to have taken the floor at this late stage of the debate. You have already closed the general debate of our assembly, General Assembly. But allow me, first of all, to reiterate my condolences and the condolences of the entire people of Algeria and our solidarity too with the brotherly people of Morocco at this trying and painful period following the devastating earthquake that affected it at the beginning of the month. Allow me also to once again reiterate our readiness to provide humanitarian assistance without condition to those affected by this natural disaster. President, I'm forced to take the floor because a distinguished permanent representative of Morocco attempted to deform the position expressed by President Tiboun in his address to this assembly on last Tuesday. It's true. And we claim the same that the President, President Tiboun has once again called for the unwavering support of Algeria for those still living under foreign domination. But we will never but our support for liberation of the peoples still under domi colonial domination is based on our history and on our fight for national liberation. Everyone has their side. We, in Algeria, we have chosen the camp of just, the side of justice, that of decolonization, that of freedom, that of self-determination and human rights. This commitment of course, applies to the cause of the Sahrawi people, who now for almost half a century have been waiting for the UN to ensure justice is served, for the UN to finally apply the 1514 Declaration on the Independence of Colonial Peoples. Do we need to even recall, President, that in 1975, this territory in Western Sahara was first, was then shared, it was shared between the Kingdom of Morocco and Mauritania. Three years later, it was completely occupied by the Kingdom of Morocco. The United Nations indeed tried to ensure international law is respected, creating MINURSO, and that was the UN mission for the organization of a referendum in Western Sahara. This mission remains on the territory of Western Sahara, bearing 
witness to the, wi the, the will of the international community to put an end to the occupation and to organize a free and transparent consultation of the Sahrawi people vis-à-vis -vis their future. But Minurso is regularly and still has still been prevented from organizing this referendum on self-determination. Vague autonomy proposals are being put forward, which so far have convinced nobody. While in Western Sahara, the Moroccan occupation, if it really was a paradise there, with or without autonomy, why then, why would this referendum be prevented from happening? Why is the will of the sorry people not being heard? President, firstly, the nature of the question of Western Sahara, it is a question of decolonization. You just need to look at the agenda of the Security Council, of the General Assembly, of the C24. Just need to look at that to really understand the nature of this issue of Western Sahara, which is and remains a question of decolonization, which must be resolved through self, the self-determination of the Sahrawi people. Secondly, we've referred to Algeria incorrectly because Algeria is not a party to this conflict. The two parties to this conflict are the Kingdom of Morocco and the Polisario Front. And that's how they negotiated the ceasefire. That's how they negotiated the beginning of the organization of a referendum, as is proven by Security Council resolutions and resolutions from the General Assembly. And to resolve this conflict then, the international community, and that's been proven by documents, been circulated at the United Nations, the UN calls to determine the wishes of the Sahrawi, a choice between two proposals, the referendum or autonomy. And let's leave the Sahrawi's space to decide in a transparent fashion in referendums organized by the United Nations. President, it is a secret to no one that Algeria has supported and, has, and continues to support the right to self-determination for the people in Western Sahara. That is what President Taboon stated clearly and with conviction before this assembly on Tuesday. There is no need to repeat it. Thank you very much.